Yo guys, it's Bootcatcher and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to make Roblox GFX profile pictures for YouTube or any social media to be fair. Um, in order to do this, you're going to need to have some softwares. Um, I'll actually link them down below, but they're going to be Blender, Roblox Studio, and um, any photo editor of your choice, like Fonto or Pixlr. They're essentially um, free alternatives to Photoshop. However, in this tutorial, I will be using Photoshop. Also, keep in mind the Blender, which I'll link down below, is an older version of Blender, version 2.79, I believe, uh, because it's just easier for me to present and it's easy to use, in my opinion. So, let's get on with the video. Alright, so we're going to start off with Roblox Studio because that's where we're going to get our character from. Now, um, you, in order to actually load the character, you're going to have to get a plugin called Load Character Lights. Uh, to get this, you click um, the toolbox over here, click Models, and then click Plugins, and then search up Load Character, and you'll be able to find it. You'll be able to find a free version and one that costs 25 Robux. Just get the free version, this one. I've already got downloaded. And in order to access it, just go to Plugins and click Load Character. And here we go. So we can load anyone's uh, avatar. I'm just going to use my account for now. Um, it's SP43. There we go. Um, I, already, I changed my avatar quite recently, so it'll show this. But if I do click Spoon R6, it will show up. There we go. So this is my avatar. This is the one um, that I want to use for my GFX. And the one you presumably see in the thumbnail, I think. I'm not too sure. <laughs> so yeah. To be able to actually download this, and um, since we're going to make it on Blender, we're going to have to save it as an OBJ. So to do this, you're going to have to right click over here on Explorer, click the um, profile thing, and then click export selection. And now you can save this anywhere what you want. I'm going to save it on uh, a folder on my desktop called Blender, and I'll just call it sphere 43 and I'll click save. Now that's it for Roblox Studio. You can pause it. Uh, you can like move the arms and stuff, but this is a beginner tutorial, so I want to brush past that and just move on straight to the rendering. So let's go into Blender. All right. So once you download the 2.79 version of Blender, you will be met by this screen and this grey box. If you're familiar with Blender, kind of, you'll know that this box, uh, this box, is just there. I don't even know why, to be fair. But we're just going to delete it by clicking the delete button and then click delete. There we go. So now we have a, a pretty fresh area that we can work with. Now we're going to import our Roblox uh, avatar. In order to do it, you click File and then click Import. And when I click uh, the Wavefront OBJ, now go to the place where the file is actually located, and that's over here. Just click OBJ, and um, there we go. We have our avatar. So the avatar isn't textured yet, and I'll uh, show you guys how to get it textured in a minute. I'll sort of position it. You can use these arrows. These arrows are actually found in Roblox Studio as well. So there we go, I'm just going to keep that here. Now in order to actually move your camera around, you click Shift and then F and you'll be able to like walk around um, and look at the avatar. So we're just going to move over here, I'll just rock with this angle for now. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how to texture it. Now to texture the avatar, you click this button, the plus button, and it'll show up with this um, little window thing, I'm not really sure what it's called, but just click textured solid and you'll be able to see that your character is now textured and it's basically all colorful and good. Now follow these um, settings. You guys can play around with this if you want but I'm just going to use these things for now. I'm going to use ambient occlusion, sampled motion blur. For the resolution I'm going to max it out and do 100%. When I go to the world I'm going to do ambient occlusion, environmental lighting and now for render presets, make sure you set it at HD 1080p. There we go. Now since we're actually going to save this um, as a PNG file, we're going to want the transparency of the background to be transparent. So in order to do this, you're going to click um, shading, I think, like shading, and then alpha, change alpha to transparent, and the transparency will um, be transparent basically in the background. All right, so um, that's basically it. You guys can play around with some of these settings, uh, some of the lighting. You guys can add point lights, which um, essentially allows you to like um, add different points of lighting. But we're just going to use the default for now. Now, um, since 
we made the transparency um, you know completely transparent in the background now we can actually like take the picture or like choose the frame that we want now in order to do this you're going to do uh, zero on the number pad right make sure you don't need a number pad and once you have that we can actually just uh, take uh, the frame that we want to be rendered so I'm just going to do uh, I might just do my whole avatar actually you want to do the whole avatar like this um, like that yeah right so we have it like this it's selected just make sure you left click it so it's locked into place we're going to click render and click render image right so we have it here rendered and ready to go it looks pretty cool uh, as I said you guys can mess around with the lighting but I'm going to keep it like this now in order to actually save the image you just click image over here and you're going to click save as image now you can rename it as I said to anything you want um, I'm just going to save it on my desktop here and there we go that's how you get your first uh, CFX now let's actually hop onto Photoshop and that's essentially what I see as the fun part Alright, so I'm on Photoshop or you can follow along with any um, photo editor. I'm just going to click File and click New. And I'm going to make a profile picture. So we're going to follow these dimensions 500 by 500. Like so. I'm click Create and there we go. We have a perfect square. Now we can actually just get the GFX avatar thing from our desktop to where I saved it. I can drag it to here. Now I'm gonna make it just a bit uh, big like this. I'm just gonna keep it on the center like that. Go and click enter. That's looking pretty cool. Now uh, we're gonna want a background. So you guys can literally search on any background you want. I'm just gonna go search for one and I'll be with you guys in a minute. Alright, so I'm gonna use this background. All you have to do is just do um, copy image or control C. Then we can paste it. Now you guys can see that um, it's overlapping our Roblox avatar. I'm just going to resize it a little bit, make it look a bit nice. Right, as you guys can see it's overlapping our avatar. All we have to do is actually just put it on the back here like that and now it's overlapping. Now if you're on Photoshop, and you, um, you just rasterize the layer that you pasted over here, right clicking this and then um, like that, rasterize layer. So now we can do like more stuff to it. Um, I'm gonna add a drop shadow by doing a uh, layer style and right, drop shadow, just giving a bit more depth. Like so, uh, we can mess around with the spread. This is all up to you, by the way. There's a, this, this part of the tutorial, the way you can just like <laughs> let your wings spread. Basically, I want to blur this background just to give um, a better focus to the character. So I'm going to select this, the layer 1, and click Blur, Gaussian Blur. And that's where I can literally just blur the background. Uh, I'll keep it like this, so that's alright. Alright, um, I might actually add a... Maybe an inner shadow, we'll see how that looks. I, I don't know, do I, do I don't think we need it. I can also, also change the saturation by the control and then control U. Or just control U and we can just change the saturation. Uh, I'll just keep it like this for now. I'll keep it like that. There we go. And yeah, so far it's looking pretty cool. Now you can, of course, add all your effects and stuff, but I'm going to keep it like this for now. Uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. I will maybe do some more GFX tutorials in the future, some more complex ones. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys in the next video.